The sun is hot. It gives off heat. Can you think of other things that give off heat? We know some things that give off heat, don't we? But how do we know? That's one way of telling, isn't it? We can tell by how heat feels. Can you think of another way of telling when something gives off heat? We can boil water with heat. What about heat from the sun? Is there a way of boiling water with heat from the sun? Perhaps if we focus the sunlight with a magnifying glass. Heat from the sun boils water. With some ice, frozen water, and some other heated water, we can learn about something else heat does. What happens as the heated water is poured on the ice? Heat passes from the hot water to the cold ice. The hot water becomes cooler. The ice becomes warmer and melts. Can you think of other things that melt when they're heated? Making things melt. This is a way heat changes things. What will happen to the melted wax when it cools? It becomes hard once again. Here's a solid piece of lead, a kind of metal. Can it be melted too? It takes a lot of heat to melt lead. Now we're pouring the melted lead into a mold. What do you suppose will happen to the lead inside the mold? Now the lead is cooler. It has formed tiny figures. Figures of solid lead. Lead, like other materials we've seen, becomes a liquid when heated, then becomes a solid once again when cooled. What other things happen to solids when they're heated? We can find out with a solid aluminum rod with a balloon near one end. The balloon is almost touching the end of the rod, which has a sharp point. If the rod were longer, it would break the balloon. What might cause the rod to get longer, to expand? Will heat do it? Heat made the metal expand. What about a liquid? Will the liquid in this flask expand when heated?
the liquid rises into the tube. The liquid expands when heated. Now, watch as heating stops. The liquid goes back down again, doesn't it? As the liquid cools, it shrinks back into the flask, the way it was before it was heated. What about gases? Gases that make up air. There is air in the bottle and air in the plastic bag. Will air expand when heated? Air expands when it's heated. What about when it's cooled? The air goes back to the way it was. A marshmallow shows us another way heat changes things. Will a marshmallow ever change back to the way it was before it was cooked? You've probably seen heat used to make popcorn. Will the popped corn ever change back to the way it was before it was popped? What about some eggs when they're heated? Will they ever change back to raw eggs again? Now, let's think about something else. How heat gets to the eggs through the metal pan. How fast does heat pass through metal? We'll do an experiment with a piece of metal and a pad of soft material, the same thickness as the metal. Will heat pass through the soft pad as quickly as through the metal? Let's find out. On top of each, we'll place a glass dish and in each dish, an ice cube. Heat passes very quickly through the metal, melting the ice cube. The metal is a conductor of heat. The ice cube on the pad isn't melting as fast. It takes much longer for heat to pass through the pad of soft material. It's a kind of insulation. We wouldn't use insulation to make a frying pan. We use a conductor. Metal conducts heat quickly to all parts of the pan, including the handle. There's a danger of getting burned if we grab the handle directly. A pad made of insulating fabric protects our hand. Can you think of other insulating materials we use? Gloves insulate our hands from the cold. Another use of insulation is in the walls of a house. Insulation is placed in walls of many homes when they're built. On hot summer days, insulation keeps heat from moving into a house, keeping it cool inside. In the winter, insulation keeps heat from moving out of a house, keeping it warm inside. Can you see how insulation might make a home more comfortable? Can you think of some other uses for insulation? It helps to know which things are heat insulators and which things are heat conductors. What else can you remember about heat? What are some ways heat changes things? things give off heat. How much can you remember about heat and what it does? <laughs>